Hi, this is Anita from the Global Trade Gal. You know, this is where we talk about all things that kind of do with global trade. We try to talk about a variety of subjects and a variety of things that people would be interested in who may be thinking about being involved in the global trade, which means that they may decide they want to buy products overseas, or people who are already in it who are just trying to understand more about the entire industry. You know, a little bit about myself as I've lived and worked overseas in Asia for over the last 30 years. So I would say that I've been into a lot of factories and I've seen a lot of things. I've seen, the, I could say I've seen the good, the bad and the ugly. And I can tell you, you know, what is considered to be a good factory and what is not just because I spent so much time in manufacturing. One of the things that I personally myself love is I love to see something which starts as a raw material go into a product. That's just always something that's fascinated me, the whole you know, aspect of being able to create something out of a raw product and then making it into something beautiful or something that someone can use has always been a fascination to me personally. But even though when you made this beautiful raw product and you made this beautiful thing, then you've got to figure out, well, how do I get this overseas? Or how do I get this shipped so it doesn't break or doesn't fall apart or doesn't have any issues? You know, a good factory will be able to really understand the packing and they'll be able to guide you through it and they'll be able to help you with it. But it's still really good for you to be able to understand some basic things about packing, specifically about cartons. Most cartons that are used are corrugated cartons. And cartons will have what is called a ply. So the ply will essentially mean what is the thickness of the carton. But also when you look at a carton, you'll see the carton has what's called a flute, which is kind of like this little wavy thing which is in a carton. If you ever you know, cut a carton and you look at it sideways, you'll see this little flute which is kind of a wavy part. So sometimes those can be stacked up and tell you kind of what the ply of a carton is. You know, so there's different types of ply in a carton. The standard ply is three ply, five ply, and seven ply. And that does not necessarily mean that, you know, each one of those is going to be, um, you know, three of those little wavy things stacked up, in fact, is quite different. In fact, a three ply is one, five ply is two, and a seven ply is three. So obviously when you look at this, a seven ply is generally a very strong carton. But again, it really depends upon the quality of the carton itself. And this is essentially very important, especially when dealing in a country like a, maybe a country that hasn't manufactured a lot. When we first started working in Vietnam um, quite a few years ago, it could be very, very hard for us to find a good carton, especially in Hanoi. Finding a seven ply carton was actually quite difficult. And one of the reasons was is they just weren't making them. Yes, they had cartons that they considered to be seven ply, but the cartons were extremely soft. So really, is it's not only just the ply of the carton, it is also the paper they use, the quality of the paper they use, and how hard the carton is. A good seven ply carton should be hard, and it should be a sturdy carton. But if they're using inferior paper, or if, if their process of making the carton is inferior, then you may find that a seven ply carton in some places may look and feel and act the same as a three ply carton in other places. Now you might ask, well, why does it matter? If the factory tells me it's seven ply, shouldn't I just believe them and, and, and say that it's, it's seven ply? Well, no, because the quality of the carton, especially if you are shipping items which are heavy or items that can easily be damaged, can make a huge amount of difference as to whether or not the product gets there safely or not. You know, sometimes a five-ply carton may be very good quality and may be better quality than seven-ply cartons you get in other places. So it really, really just depends upon the quality of the carton and the carton manufacturer. That is also why it's very difficult, in my own opinion, for many of these third world countries to start developing and getting into the global trade because of the fact that even they might be able to produce a product at a great price, they may not be able to pack it so that it can arrive to its destination safely. Or you may find that in the United States or other places, you are having to unpack everything and repack it again. 
There are some companies that do that. They unpack everything and repack it again. It is obviously very expensive and it can be extremely costly to have to do that. So we have found that most of our suppliers nowadays want to be able to have things packed and ready to go directly to their customers so they do not need to unpack them. So this is also why a carton and what the ply of the carton is can make a big difference. So when you ask about what is the ply of a carton, a ply of a corrugated carton box refers to the number of layers or sheets of paper that make up the carton's construction. So these can be you know, de you know, done many different ways, but that is the critical factor in determining how a carton is considered to be what ply it is meant to be. So it's according to the number of sheets for the carton itself. And it's actually the ply is critical in determining a carton strength and durability. You know, so for example, a three ply carton has three layers of paper, while a five ply has five layers of paper and a seven ply has seven layers of paper. And you know, consequently, a seven ply should be stronger than a three ply. But again, as I mentioned, it has to have to do with the quality of the paper itself. The most, you know, three, five, and seven are actually the most common plies used in cartons are usually the plies that they will talk about when doing cartons. You know, so the, the ply can directly impact the strength of the carton. You know, so usually a higher ply is stronger and a lower ply is less. You know, some of the advantages of having a higher ply carton is basically because of strength and that the piece will not come in damaged. But there again, it depends upon exactly what you're shipping. Now, for example, if you are shipping smaller items and they're all going to be in a master pack, I meaning you might have 10 of them in a bigger carton, then you might find for the inner carton, using a three ply might be enough, and the outer carton, you might decide to use a five or seven ply. This is also why many times we will conduct a drop test to make sure that the carton or the master carton can be able to survive through the shipping. So, you know, really the ply of the carton is not just a matter of you saying like everything needs to be five ply or seven ply. It really matters as to exactly what you're using the carton for. Also too, if you're not gonna be shipping it anywhere, if the carton is just gonna be loaded on a container, offloaded at your warehouse, you're gonna unpack it, it's not gonna really you know, go to any destination, you might find a three ply is enough for everything that you need. And for some people, they may bulk pack it. They don't care because of the fact that it's just going to be, you know, taken out of the carton anyways. They're going to throw the carton away that they don't care about the carton itself. So really, at the end of the day, it really depends upon what the usage is, how you are going to ship the goods and whether the goods are going to go on to another destination according to what type of ply of a carton you might need. So all of these have to do with things as to the carton itself and, and the quality of the carton. So we've written a blog on this that you know we'll, we can show you some things about the ply of a carton and that you can be able to learn more about it and we have some frequently asked questions too about it. It's our blog entitled All About the Ply Value in Corrugated Carton Boxes. So if you're interested in this, if this is something that you know, I believe everyone should understand who's in the global supply chain about the plies of the carton, please go on to our blog and you should be able to receive and get more information on this. Thank you so much for listening. We hope that you'll subscribe to our channel, that you will be part of our community, that you'll want to be able to know more. One of the advantages of subscribing is we'll be able to update you anytime a new podcast comes out that you'll be able to see whether something you want to listen to or not, which we hope it is something you want to listen to. We'd like to thank you so much for being part of our community here and thank our team who put it together, especially Rico, who puts together these podcasts. And just thank all of, I can't thank all of you enough for listening and being part of the Global Trade Gal.